So Ali and I are just off to work now, but we are also scouting a little bit of a swim, just checking the get out or where we think the get out will be. Um, obviously we want to know about that before we get into the water, but we're hoping to get out somewhere near this bridge down here. And uh, we'll see how possible that is in a while. As you suspected, the steps on the far side are shut and I think that the sign over there says because of falling masonry. So we need to have a little look along to see if there is a better spot for getting out or actually any spot for getting out the river because we don't want to get in if we can't get back up to uh, canal side to get back to the car. Well, it looks like we found some steps up from the river down below the canal, so we should be pretty much okay with that. Looking down there, they look fairly well used, uh, in pretty good nick, so I'm pretty confident they are going to be fine. And the get out was um, just next to somewhere with a slipway, so I think we should be pretty easily able to get out there. So I'm confident we can do this swim. Looking forward to uh, doing it after work. Brilliant. Well, we've finished work and actually we've decided we're going to start from the bottom of these, which is where I said we were going to get out. Um, because just before we uh, started work, we saw somebody coming back, a swimmer, who'd got a tow float and had a little chat with her. And she said, oh yeah, get in from there and swim down to the next place. And she, she described it really well. She'd only just done it, so it sounded like a sound option. And uh, when I described the section we were thinking of doing, she'd never done it. So that kind of tells me all I need to know about where the locals swim here. So we're going to give this a go and um, haven't really scouted it, but we just know that there's a definite get out at the other end. And that lady had a lovely time this morning. And am I not chuffed to be getting in the water now because that was a hot day at work, hey Ali? Oh, yeah, really hot. Whew. Very, very. Look at this though, little field of cows. Pretty sure they're not interested in us. And we're in. And we're off. Yeah. I reckon that's enough that way. Yeah. <laughs> Quite chilly, but not freezing. I am pleased that Ali had a, um, a rash vest for me tomorrow though as I think we're committed to about 50 minutes here. Anyway, off we go. See ya. Enjoy. Cows overhead. This bit of willow holding a bit of willow. I don't think it's a fallen tree. Well, what do we think happens here with all these reeds? <laughs> we could go one way each. Hmm. I might hang in the water and see which way it takes me. Yeah. I reckon it's left. Yeah, I think there's a gap. Yeah. Why do the birds stop singing as we go past? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's close. 
<laughs> Did a reed just touch you? Yeah, I have to Superman through here because I hate when that happens. I am from now. They're not little either, so they give you a right hold. They grab you. It did, it grabbed me, it's like all the end Lucky you're not nearly dead then. <laughs> nice um, dragonflies. Pull up. Just have a little rest. <laughs> right, does your rest involve holding on? My rest does involve <laughs> putting my head on my toe float and not even gently kicking. <laughs> not doing yet. Oh, I've got a little bug on my toe float. Oh. I got one of mine. Missed him. Lovely. Monsieur looking for sure. <laughs> Can you see it? Yeah. Where? Um, he's behind the leaf, but you see the bit of greenery that almost touches the ground. The yeah. water, sorry. If you follow that up, you can cut in there. Alright. Oh yeah, I think about two foot up. Yeah. Yep. It's gone up there now. here. Lots of noise. You can just about see the top of the weir. Given how many people are just strolling around there, I think it's going to be fine. In fact, there's a guy fully clothed walking across the top of it towards us. And I think the public footpath walks you across it like it's a ford. So at some stage we're going to run aground. But I am looking forward to getting out and getting a bit warmer. What about you, Ali? Oh, I'm starting to feel the cold. I'm very grateful for my wetsuit. So <laughs> Thanks for rubbing feet. it in. Yeah, I'm a bit chilly. Oh, oh we're just going to swim into a wall. Mm. <laughs> it does feel that way. <laughs> he's, he's ankle deep. <laughs> I can still go. I can't, yeah, I can't yeah. touch. Oh, I'm touching, I'm touching. Oh. <laughs> hey. I'll oh, see what though. I'm getting sucked off a little bit. Yeah, I'm getting sucked off as well. So watch out for that. <laughs> well, this is quite an interesting place. Oh, good old school. Nice Let's have a look over the top. Watch if I see people. Getting sucked along nicely here. Could have done with a bit more of that on your own. <laughs> so, this is what people are walking along. Watch out, you lose your toe flow to it. Coming on. Um, 
think I'm going to have to climb up onto the top of the weir in a second. Oh no, I might be able to get around. Bit of a log dial just here. Be careful with that one. Glad we got a warm drink with us. People in their pants. <laughs> Something else. <laughs> well, we're all suited back up into our changing robes and I'm feeling a slight warmer for it. So we just got a, I don't know, maybe 15, 20 minute walk back, by which time we'll be back to normal in terms of temperature. But hopefully we'll see some pretty interesting sights along the way. So uh, let's cross the railway line at least. What an awesome view. Beautiful. I can't believe what a cool thing this was to get in just at uh, the bridge you can see just over there swimming down the river which you can see partly down there to that weir and then out and back around on here complete loop on the towpath that is literally swimming gold that we found there and something that we could do on another occasion as well it's super cool when you find something like that I'm so happy that that swimmer talked to me this morning and gave us a tip and we didn't do the one I'd planned on Got stones in my shoes. And as if by magic, we're right back where we started from. I'll wait for the train to go past. I hope you've enjoyed this week's video. And if you have, you'll give it a like. Drop me a comment. Tell me about any great circular swims you've managed to do. I don't want to know the location. Just tell me how long it took and if you enjoyed it. And uh, if you do enjoy the stuff, please consider subscribing to our channel by clicking on my face, dinging the little bell, and you'll know when the next one's out. And I'll see you next time. Bye.